early last week, Aidan Brook and Joseph Armstrong of Narabunda College began enrolling for their 2019 classes when they realised Indonesian language was no longer available. It just wasn't on the subject selection, so I had to go to the students' advisors to ask and they said it wasn't there. They were told the school did not have enough funding, enough students or a teacher to continue the course. Upset, Aidan and Joseph set up an online petition, which has since received over 5,000 signatures in under a week. The campaign has reached Narabunda alumni, the Australian Indonesian community, Indonesian academics globally, and has spread in Indonesia. We thought we'd just make it just locally, so we wanted 100 signatures by Monday. And yeah, on Tuesday we got a couple thousand and it just kept blowing up like that. The lack of executive effort allocated to Indonesian has raised concerns as it has been a part of the college for over 40 years. Narabunda College provided the only Indonesian course in Canberra included in the International Baccalaureate program at a college level and was the only institution transitioning students into further tertiary study. If you're running a, a college with many languages, and the language that is chosen to be wiped out of that college is Indonesian, the language of our closest neighbour, the most important priority Asian language for this country, then I, I question that decision, I question how, how that could be thought to be an appropriate decision for a college like that to be, to be making. A good number of them over half would go to ANU to study Bahasa Indonesia. We were providing nearly two thirds of the ANU classes were coming from Narabunda College at that time. Those students then, so many of them, um, went on to do amazing things in Indonesia. The possible cancellation of Indonesian has sparked international outcry, as this will contribute to the shaky ties between Indonesia and Australia. Only two senior high schools in Canberra now teach Bahasa Indonesia, and if one of them is closed down, that will leave just one school remaining. And this is a very disappointing, in fact it's a disgraceful situation for us in Australia, because Indonesia is a, an important neighbour, a huge neighbour, and here we are in the capital of Australia and have only one senior school teaching Bahasa Indonesia. In order to maintain good relations with Indonesia and to smooth the way for good trade relations, economic relations and strategic relations with Indonesia, we really need to know Indonesian culture and the Indonesian language much, much, much better. And that's uh, failing at the moment. It's a shortcoming in Australian educational policy. The school has since released a statement saying they have yet to make the decision final, despite telling students otherwise. Kilau Setanggi Timur, Metro TV.